You start the application by clicking on the, so to speak, icon. The first time you start the app, you will get to a page which allows you to choose languages. Each course has a user language, a language you already understand, and a target language, the language you're trying to learn. By changing user language, you can get to a list of courses available in that language. When you've chosen a course, you will get to a short introductory text and then you will go straight to the first exercise. It starts with a description of the sound you will be learning. Be sure to read it carefully because it contains hints about how to produce the sound. Then you'll come to the exercise itself. It consists of a single sentence on which you will practice. You will return to the same sentence three times during the course, each time with a different focus. In the first stage, you'll be training your ear. In the second, your pronunciation. And finally, your focus on understanding what you're saying. The first thing you need to do in the exercise is to listen to the speaker voices, to determine what letter to fill in for each blank in the sentence on the screen. You may have to listen to the sentence many times to identify the sound and you may have to guess a bit to pick the right letter or combination of letters that correspond to the sound. The first sentences will be easy because you only have one sound to choose from, but as the course proceeds more sounds are added one by one. Here I'll demonstrate how it works with an exercise from our French course. I play the speaker voices and listen carefully for the sound that corresponds to the first blank. Dans un an, on viendra vous voir. Dans un an, on viendra vous voir. I play the sentence as many times as I need to be certain which sound I'm looking for and then I enter the one or more letters that I think correspond to the sound. When I've done this for all the blanks, a translation of the sentence is shown. Next, you should try recording yourself saying the sentence. It's enough doing it two to three times at this stage. The purpose is to give you a feeling for where the difficulties in pronunciation lie. I'll demonstrate. Dans un an, on viendra vous voir. 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 When you feel ready to go to the next exercise, do a sweep from right to left across the screen. This brings you to the next sentence. When you have worked through all the hearing exercises, you will come back to the first sentence. This time there are blanks for all the sounds, since you should have learned all of them by now. You start by listening and entering all the letters of the sentence as a repetition. Then you record yourself saying the sentence and then comparing the recording to the speaker voice. You should do this at least 10 times, trying to get as close as possible to the speaker voice in all aspects. Pronunciation, intonation, tempo and pitch. Having done that for all the sentences, you'll get to the third stage. The hearing exercises have become a bit more difficult. Now you just have a single big blank per word. If your ear is attuned to the language, you will be able to enter the words correctly. You should also record yourself a few times to check and reinforce your speaking skills. If you aren't satisfied, record yourself over and over as often as you wish. You should sound as similar to the speaker voices as you possibly can. In this step, you should also focus on the meaning of the words. In the earlier stages, you have been shown a translation of the whole sentence. Now you will also have a word-by-word -word translation. 
Every language has its own word order and its own set of connotations for each word. Think about how each word has been translated and make a comparison with the final meaning of the sentence. This will help you select the proper words when you build your own sentences. To reach other features of the application, you can use your phone's menu button. You can change settings, show the sentence translation, and get solutions to the exercise. You can also bring up an overview of the course or go back to the course selection menu. 